Hello, this is Wayne Boone of the American Carp Society. And in today's episode of our whiteboard series, we're going to kick it all the way back to the beginning. This is an introduction to carp fishing. So you've heard through the grapevine about how much fun fishing for carp can be, the legendary rush of adrenaline during the battles, to the thrill of outwitting a smart and learned quarry. It's the essence of why I want to go fishing. It's a massive buzz. The whole object of today is to catch a nice carp on a simple rig, simple baits. gear that you've probably already got in your garage. So you want to catch a carp. Let's take a look at how we can catch them with the fishing tackle that you probably already have at home. Looking through my garage, it's a six foot medium action rod Actually, it's a five foot since an accident with a car door a few years back and a reel spooled with eight pound mono and I've tied a number six hook to the end of the line. You could start by placing the bait directly on the hook and freelining the bait to the fish, maybe in the margins of your lake or river. But if you need to cast the bait a bit further to reach fish that are feeding, we'll add both a two-way swivel, a rubber bead, and a half ounce egg sinker to the rig. Sometime in the future, we do encourage you to learn to tie a hair rig because that particular rig will increase your hookup rate, particularly of the larger carp, greater than 10 pounds, say. And see one of the previous whiteboard episodes we've done. It's called How to Tie a Hair Rig. That'll help you out a lot. Where to find carp? Well, nearly every US state has carp in their lakes, ponds, rivers, reservoirs. Wherever you find bass, bluegill and catfish, you're more than likely to find large carp as well. Okay, you arrive at your local lake and now ask, where do I start fishing? Well, here's a few clues for you. Carp can be seen in lakes jumping early in the morning, just as the sun is rising, and probably again in the early evening, just before sunset. If you cannot see them, you'll certainly hear them as they crash out with quite a splash. This is a good way to locate the whereabouts of the fish on your lake. They can be caught in all depths of water, from less than a foot down to 30 feet or more. Carp usually patrol the margin areas early in the morning and late in evening in the rivers and lakes, foraging for food, and can be caught near reed beds, lilies, submerged weed lines, and most structure at any time of day, really. Warm water inlets to lakes and ponds are excellent areas to find carp as the flow of new water brings with it an ongoing supply of oxygen and fresh food for them. They are naturally shy fish and will spook easily. So other good areas to find carp are shelves or drop-offs where the shallower water drops off into a deeper area where the fish will feel safe.
We're in. Like most other species of fish, carp are never far from food. So locating natural food sources for the carp will also help you locate them. They feed primarily on snails, shrimp, beetles, various larvae, and some plant seeds and tubers. The larger specimens also eat crayfish and mollusks, like freshwater clams and mussels, along with plenty of zebra and quagga mussels. So looking for areas where these food sources are located is a great start. Also don't ignore clear patches amongst weeds and gravel. It can signify a carp feeding zone. Areas of high density weed are also great areas to find carp. Just to end, you know, carp are opportunists. They won't be far away from the local duck feeding station on the local pond. They love bread. As I mentioned earlier, probably the easiest way to catch carp is to go to your local pond with a loaf of bread, size 6 hook and some 8 pound line to a pretty stiff rod and you're ready for action. Carp up to 10 pounds are relatively easy to catch with a free line. Just squeeze some bread on that hook, leave the points exposed and you can catch them very close to shore. Virtually all carp fishing is done from the bank anyways, so it's, uh, it, it, it's, it's very angler friendly. Alternatively, three or four kernels of canned sweet corn threaded directly onto the hook. You can free line it or cast it out with a small sliding egg sinker uh, and that will certainly produce carp if they're feeding in the area you're fishing. Are some days where you may need some patience but feeding or chumming where it's legal definitely check with your state's fish and game department an area prior to fishing always helps and again as i mentioned earlier if the locals feed the ducks that is the best place to start fishing for carp they'll definitely be used to feeding on bread in that location that's almost a dead cert okay i've got one last tip for you in this one Make sure that the clutch of the reel is loosened so the fish can take line once hooked. And keep very close attention to your rod tip as the take can be so fierce that the rod can literally be launched into the water. Above all, have fun. I appreciate you listening to this and uh, don't hesitate to contact us if you've got any questions. Be lucky out there. Los Angeles Park Lake, the second fish of the day. Fortunately, didn't get to land before, so we Who counts it? That's the play. Little simple running rig, you'll see it later on the video. Place the bait there where people feed the ducks. So, only a matter of time. Fish.
net, get it, get it in the water early. Try to bring the carp to bring the carp to the net. Yeah, beautiful fish. Take the hook. Take the seat. Beautiful. Los Angeles Park Lake. So we'll get rid of the net. Watch it water on it there, it's a dry day. I'm going to keep it safe, keep it wet. There, when you're posing for a photo, hold it nice and low. It's likely to flop, you don't want them on the ground hurting themselves. It's a beautiful fish. Just make sure this fish is strong and ready to go. Just give it a few minutes if necessary to give it's been a couple. See that? Just give it some support. When it starts kicking, it's ready. Thank you, baby. That's the best part. Letting them go. Thanks.